Hi guys, welcome back to the Vapor Whisper. Today I have a very special tutorial. I know in 2018, 2019, or somewhere around there, Beyblades were super, super popular. So, look at this origami version I made. Pure origami, with just a strip of vapor and a square turned into a Beyblade. And then, once you tuck it in, you'll find this really cool. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oops, that kind of rips the paper. Let me grab a better one. Um, there we go. So, let's try this again. Three, two, one, let it rip. It actually works somewhat. It takes a lot of practice to spin it. just that was like 20 minutes ago or so. But, but, but like it took it's a pretty simple model but make sure they have a decent amount of experience in, um in origami to make this so what you're gonna need is a square sheet of paper i'll be using brown kami from part of the origami studio um a pack of 500 i got on amazon no it's not sponsored it is my favorite origami paper though and then a strip of paper from i mean making origami stars so, um, I just borrowed one of those. So, we're gonna start color side up, actually. And fold, um, fold vertically and horizontally in half. Feel free to pause the video if I'm, always, if I, if I'm never going too fast. Turn over. And, then, you're going to, um, What's it called? Oh yeah, fold diagonally in half. Sorry about that. Okay, so now you're gonna basically collapse it into the water bottom base. Now you're gonna fold this flap or this flap, whichever direction you want to be in. If you want to follow along with me, you're going to fold the right flap in. And you're going to fold it up here, then fold this edge to this edge. Now, flip, flip this flap over as if you're turning the page of a book and repeat. Now turn over and completely repeat. Oops, hold on. And BB. No big deal. Okay, and the last one. Now, like I said, this is a somewhat hard model. Not hard if you have a decent amount of experience. If you um if you want to um have a simpler version of it. Um, make sure to check out Jeremy Schaefer's Dragon Wings Propeller, which I somewhat based this off of. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to fold the crease from this point to this point where these two edges meet and these two edges meet. Crease sharply as always. You should always crease sharply. I shouldn't really say that anymore. You already know that. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open, you're gonna basically s squash it in a special way, just like Jeremy Schaefer's propeller. So basically you're gonna hold these four flaps all at once, or you can just push on the creases. Basically you're gonna push making the mountain folds. And we have these. Now, we're gonna carefully flatten it, which we actually can't flatten it, unfortunately. What we will do is we are gonna fold um this here. Basically, you're gonna fold this here. Basically, if you're doing, you're gonna fold them to the left. And if you're doing the opposite direction, fold them to the right, the flaps. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you are going to fold a crease from this edge, or actually no, a crease from this point to this point. Like, one sec, make sure the flaps don't 
I mean, these layers don't slip. Something like this. And repeat on all the sides. This will help lock it together. But it's a bit different on the fourth one, unfortunately. Which I'll show you now. Fourth one is somewhat normal, except you're going on top of the first one. Therefore, making an overlap. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna crease extra strong on that part. As you see, this is where it's gonna be bending, or I mean, this is where it spins on. If you wanna use top here and use that as a spinning top, but I wanna go even further and turn it into a bay blade. So, it's super simple. You just grab your paper, and like you did, I said earlier, you go into, you take the paper, put it into this flap on below each petal, as I like to call it. And before you know it, see it's not that hard. Three, two, one, let it rip. Take, like I said, it takes a decent amount of practice. I'm gonna see if I, what happens when I go into two of them. But it takes some practice, even though I haven't gotten it yet. But basically after some practice, it may be a flying people, I don't know anymore. I'm, I'll be experimenting with ways to, um, better ways actually to, um, to, um, have it, um, spin with those strips of paper. So if you want me to, um, if you want me, if you want to tell me some ways or ideas you have, tell me down in the comments and have a great day. Um, let me try this once more. Come on. Somewhat. Okay, so make sure to subscribe and like the video and have a great day. See you next time. Bye.